So that's really cool. At least um, Huda Booty, Huda Booty, <laughs> I always call her Huda Booty. Happy video day, guys. Today's video, we're going virtual window shopping, which you guys know already means we're going over new makeup releases. We've got a lot of stuff that released this week. And of course, guys, at the end of this video, I also include BoxyCharm spoilers, but I let you know before I say them in case you're somebody who doesn't want to know spoilers. So for this week, it looks like Kylie Cosmetics is coming out with a whole Valentine's theme collection. We also have a brand that's collaborating with with a real housewife of Beverly Hills. And finally, the one product that I always tell you guys I don't think I could ever pull off is basically coming in because ColourPop is releasing a whole line of it. So guys, we've got a lot of stuff to go over this week, so let's go ahead and let's just jump right into the first item. And I guess I'll just start off with the item that I'm telling you guys I cannot pull off, and it looks like ColourPop just decided to make my dreams come true and make this a thing. So ColourPop is releasing a whole line of their BFF mascaras, which are colorful mascaras and I've told you guys before for me personally colorful mascaras I just don't I don't see them working now granted I think that they could look so cool on Instagram I think that they could look so beautiful in photos but like in real life like I just can't see myself wearing colorful mascara and I want to know from you guys below should I give this trend a try should I just go for it and just buy myself a colorful mascara and just walk around with yellow lashes like should I do this I don't know I'm starting to get tempted I hate to be somebody who doesn't want to try a trend just because I'm scared of it so I am willing I am willing to buy one. Let me know below if I should. But anyways, ColourPop is coming out with a whole line of colorful mascaras. There's gonna be a bunch of different colors. They're gonna be $8 each, and they're releasing on January 24th. So by the time you see this video, they are released for sale. I, I'll tell you guys, like in the photos that I see of people posting it, it looks pretty and I think it looks so nice on other people, but I just don't, I, I just can't see it on myself. But like I said, I'm willing to give it a shot. Let me know below. I'm gonna throw it in my virtual window shopping cart for right now, for right now. All right guys, so this is something that I actually purchased online and I haven't heard anybody talk about this and it just like kind of caught my attention when I saw it was being released. So it looks like Koki Cosmetics introduced these brand new palettes. They're called their Pro Collection Palettes. There's two that I see here. They're gonna be $20 each and they're really, really pretty. And I'll tell you guys, right when I saw the palette, I kind of just ordered it online. I actually should be getting it today or tomorrow. So I'm sure you guys will see a video of me trying it for the first time, but it just really caught my attention. Of course, I purchased the the one with the darker colors, the one that's in the black case, not the white one. I feel like the darker case reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona palettes that I actually really like, and I'm excited. I think it looks really pretty, and because they said Pro Palette, I'm expecting some good quality because it says Pro Palette. So I'm hoping that this is good quality. It's $20 each. I already bought mine, so I'm gonna try this. I'm very interested in it. It's pretty, so I'm gonna hold you to the Pro Palette though, Koki. It's gonna have to be pro. So that's gonna be coming in the mail pretty soon, so I don't even have to throw that in my virtual window shopping cart because I did purchase it already. All right, guys, I told you guys last virtual window shopping that Jouer was coming out with their blush-like palettes, and I didn't know a price. I didn't know too much about it, but now I already know. So there is six blushes in it, and two of them are new shades, and the palette is $42. So I think that that's a very good deal for the amount of blush that you're getting in this palette, especially coming that Jouer is not the cheapest brand. This is gonna be available on February. February 1st, so I did want to include this one more time for you guys because I do have some more information on it. I think it's a pretty good deal. Jouer does have very good blushes. I own one of their little two pan blushes and I really like it. So this is really cool. I'm gonna throw it in my virtual window shopping cart because I mean, if you get this, I think you're good on blushes for a little while, you know? All right guys, so it looks like Kylie Cosmetics is releasing an entire line for Valentine's Day. She always does this like for every holiday she comes out with a collection. So this is gonna be the Will You Be My Valentine collection. So I'm looking at it right now that she's revealing it on her stories at Kylie Cosmetics. It looks like there's some really cute pink nude shades inside of a lip kit that actually the colors that they're coming out with in this collection like these lip shades are really 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 pretty I'm actually excited to continue to watch this so throughout this video I'm gonna keep on watching the sneak peeks of this um, collection and then at the end of the video I'll let you guys know everything that I think but she's actually debuting it right now
now as I'm filming. So I'm gonna come back to this one. So now that we're talking about Kylie Cosmetics, let's jump over to her sister. So it looks like Kim Kardashian's brand KKW Beauty is going to be coming out with a new little collection. It's a new lip collection. Um, it looks like it has a lip liner and a classic red lip and it has like new packaging. Everything always has Kim Kardashian's face on it, which I actually think is kind of funny, but it's pretty. I mean, she's a pretty girl, but I see her face like on everything. It's really funny. So one is gonna be $18, which I'm assuming is the lipstick and $12 I'm assuming is for the liner. I like the color. The color red is really pretty. It is a classic red. Like you can tell like this is a red, red, red color and it's really nice. I personally just don't know if I need this because KKW Beauty is sold online primarily. You know, you have to pay shipping and I'm not sure if this will meet their shipping requirements. It looks like a pretty lip color. It's just, it's nothing like out of this world for me. I feel like I could have a similar color to this, but it is very pretty. So for me personally, I'm probably gonna pass on this one. It's just not enough of a punch that I really, really want it. Red is going to be a color that you're going to be seeing now in the springtime. When you guys start seeing my trend finders, that's gonna start appearing pretty soon. I'm gonna start trend finder again. You will see red is going to be a little bit of a hit. It's coming back, but definitely look out for that. So if you guys are missing a red lip, maybe this might be a route to take. I will tell you, warning, 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 warning with red lips. I kind of like to wear red liquid lips only because I have had experience with red lipstick that it smears a lot. Like you go like this and you have red all over your face or if you have kids like myself, my daughter touches my lips when I have like regular red lipstick on and she smears it all over the place. Red lipstick is hard to maintain. When you put on a red liquid lip, you have no problems. Like that thing like seals on your face and if somebody goes like this to you, you will have a little bit of a smearage but it's nothing compared to if you're just wearing red lips. So keep that in mind. I do know lipstick is really in right now but certain colors are a little bit harder to pull off in certain kinds of forms. Also, you do have the problem of red lipstick on your teeth, which I filmed a video once that I use this beautiful red lipstick. I was so excited. It looks so pretty on camera, but when I was watching back the footage, I had like red right here. I don't think anybody saw it, but I was like, I cannot believe this. And it was because of that lipstick. So, all right guys. So it looks like Too Faced is going to be collaborating with What's her name? I forgot her name. Erica Girardi. So it looks like Too Faced is collaborating with Erica Girardi from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. If you guys watch that show, she is the one that's like a singer too. She has her, sing she's a singer and she's very out there and fun and rich and all that good stuff. And she's like one of the fun characters on the show to watch. I actually really enjoy her. She really entertains me a lot. So I do enjoy her a lot, but it looks like she's gonna be having a collaboration with Too Faced. It's gonna be called The Pretty Mess. And actually they're already starting to show what the packaging looks like. And the packaging all has this really cute exterior that says, tear if you dare, warning, explicit eyeshadow. If you guys know Erica Girardi or, what is her, what's her like, doesn't she have like an alter ego? Erica Jane. If you guys know her Erica Jane personality, she's like all eccentric and out there and you know, says bad words and like is very like sexual. And that's probably where we're going with this entire collection. And it is Too Faced, Too Faced loves all that stuff. So I'm sure they are loving this. But yeah, so they're already debuting what it's going to look like. As of right now, I can't see inside the palettes, but I bet you by the time the video airs, I might be able to see what's in the palettes and I will show it up here if I'm able to see what's in the palettes. I actually am interested in this collection. I like I like it because I think it was a cool collaboration. I think these two people, Too Faced and um, Erica Jane, Erica Girardi, Real Housewives, I think this was a very good, smart collaboration. She's all about diamonds and luxury and explicit things. And I feel like Too Faced is the same. So I think that this was a collaboration made in heaven. I do think it's probably gonna be a cool collection. I don't know what it looks like right now, but just because I think it's a cool collection, I'll throw it in my virtual window shopping cart. You guys know though, Too Faced loves to put scents in their products, which usually turns me off, but we'll see how amazing this could be. If this is a really cool collection, maybe I'll pick something up. Otherwise, I might skip out. So it looks like Visart is also Visart, Viziart, Visart, I think it's Visart, is, <laughs> so it looks like Visart is going to be releasing a new eyeshadow palette. It's called their Liaison Eyeshadow Palette. It's gonna have nine shades in it. The shades are really beautiful, but I just finished purchasing one from ColourPop for $12 that look very similar to this. Not every single shade is the same. I know that Visart, Viziart is supposed to have amazing quality, 
ColourPop eyeshadows are pretty damn good too. So I'm excited to get my ColourPop one. I think that this is a really pretty purple tone palette. What I love about it is like the ColourPop one, I don't feel like they only focused on purple, so it's like all purple eye. I feel like they kind of added a few colors in there that mix really well with purple to create like very dimensional eyes. So I do love that about this. I do know that Visart Viseart has very expensive, um, it's a pretty expensive pricey brand. So I'm not 100% sure on the price yet, but like I said, just bought a $12 one from ColourPop, so I probably won't be picking this up. It is pretty though. Okay, so I just wanted to put this in here because you guys saw me try this foundation back in December, and I told you guys that this foundation was amazing, and I am still in love with it. When you guys see my review follow-up, I'm sure I'm gonna be talking about this a lot. Let me grab it. It's this guy right here from L'Oreal. It's their infallible fresh wear foundation. This foundation, is amazing. You guys know I am not a big fan of drugstore foundations, so for me to be saying that I love this thing is a big deal. I knew I was gonna love it back in December when I tried it. I told you guys that I was even in shock more with this foundation than I was even with the Mercier one, which I liked too. This foundation right now is available at Ulta and their display is up so you can actually purchase this in store. I know you were able to buy it online but you can buy it in store and they also have their concealer which I actually purchased too and I've been trying and so far I've been really liking and both of those are available at Ulta so I wanted to point that out to you guys because I know it's hard to shade match when you're buying online so if you guys go into store you can probably find this guy there now and I think you will not regret it. I love it so much. I cannot talk more highly of that foundation. It's incredible. Okay, guys, so it looks like Jeffree Star is going to be releasing his mystery boxes. Now, last time he released these, I actually was really interested in it, but I didn't pick it up because I thought that I was going to get like a bunch of colors that were not going to be wearable for me, and I didn't end up getting it. And I kind of regretted it later because I saw that he actually included really pretty products inside of his mystery boxes. So I think I'm gonna pick it up this time. Like I am pretty excited. I think I'm definitely gonna do it. So I'm gonna throw it in my virtual window shopping cart. By the time this video airs, I'm probably gonna already know what day it's going to be released. If I don't know exactly, I'll put it in the description box, but I'm pretty sure I'll know. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm actually really excited because I think that he included good stuff last time. And another thing that I noticed last time, so you guys know, is if you do get the mystery boxes, last time he did it, every single one had like the same item. So if you bought the 25 or the $50 ones, all of them had like the same items. So some people bought multiple $25 ones thinking that they were gonna get like a bunch of different stuff and everybody got like the same generic stuff. So don't buy like 10 $25 ones because you're gonna get 10 of like the same thing. Okay, right, so this is something that's available at Sephora. It's going to be called their Sephora Favorites Luxury Kit. It's $45 and it includes a lot of the luxury great items from Sephora. It's gonna have the Dior Show Mascara, a lip product from Ar Armani. It's gonna have an hourglass veil translucent powder. It's gonna have a product from Pat McGrath, the Matte Trance Lipstick. It's also gonna have a product from Tom Ford, which is a lip color in Casablanca. It's gonna have the Touche Clot Blur Primer from YSL. I think that this is a nice little kit. Like it has a bunch of really cute things in it. Of course, these are gonna be like sample sizes. This is not like a full size of all these things. But I think for $45, the amount of stuff that you get in here, this is a pretty nice little luxury kit. So if you guys wanna try some of these things, you might want to try this. I personally am probably not gonna be picking this up because I like to buy bigger products. Like, I don't know. Like, I have the Touche Clot already, and I do like it a lot. The Dior Mascara, I'm into, but I don't think I really want a sample size of it. So that is the only reason I wouldn't pick it up. But I feel like anybody who wants to try these type of luxury brands and doesn't want to spend that much, $45, you get a lot of different little samples of it. All right, guys, so this was something I actually saw up here on Sephora not that long ago, and I thought it was interesting. Makeup Forever is going they're gonna have these Ultra HD Invisible Cover Cream Foundation Palettes for $110. There's 12 different shades in it and they also have the same for their cream blushes. Now, I believe that this is more for maybe somebody who is a makeup artist that you wanna mix some foundation colors together and maybe add to your kit. Um, I think that this is actually a cool product if you guys are starting out maybe in makeup and maybe you don't wanna invest in a bunch of different shades, you can buy a product like this and mix colors together and be able to use it on your client and kind of make colors for like the foundation colors. You can also make colors for your blush. And I'm sure you could probably use some of these cream blush products on lips, but I just think it's really interesting. I do think that this is a really handy product. For me personally, I don't really need to mix too much of foundation color for myself. And I don't 
usually do clients. So for me, I wouldn't really pick this up. So this is going to be a new brand from Ashley Tisdale. So it's going to be called Illuminate Cosmetics, and it's going to come out with two contour shades and a two sh and two highlighter shade palette. And I'm looking at it and I am not excited by it, to be honest. I feel like the highlighter shades look a little bit glittery in the photo. It could be completely wrong from photo to real life. And nothing about it really attracts my attention. Um, it's just not, it's not exciting for me. Um, it's going to be available January 31st. I could be completely wrong and this could be amazing. But just like looking at the images, uh. it's not exciting to me. Let me know below what you guys think. Okay, so it looks like Huda Beauty is going to be doing her first collaboration. She's going to be collaborating with um, Jacqueline and it looks like she is called Jacqueline Fernandez and she is an actress and I don't know who she is but she's going to be collaborating with her and they're going to be collaborating on eyelashes. So that's really cool. At least um, Huda Beauty Huda Beauty. <laughs> I always call her Huda Beauty. It looks like Huda Beauty is going to be collaborating with people. That's really cool. So it's going to be released on January 29th and I'm not into fake eyelashes as you guys can tell I never wear them and that's just because for me personally I just don't like them I don't think that they're comfortable I wouldn't I don't wear them it's just not my thing um so Alright guys, so here's a sneak peek. It looks like Natasha Denona is going to be dropping a new concealer. It looks like she's going to be coming out with some type of concealer in the spring of 2019. So that is interesting. What kind of concealer could she be coming out with? I really like certain products from Natasha Denona. I'm not 100% sure how I like her complexion products. I heard um, mixed reviews about the foundations and I'm not sure. I would be interested in seeing a concealer, but I can't say that it was a, it would be like a release that I'd be like, yes, I want it. So I'm going to tell you guys for right now, I'll throw it in my virtual window shopping cart, but I'm not sure about it, to be honest. All right, guys. So now that we're at the end of the video, let's jump back to Kylie Cosmetics. So we have this right here, which is the lip. Okay. And then she's going to be showing right now the love set. Okay. So this is a set of lipsticks, a combo here. And then we have a darker combo here. It looks like the lip products look interesting. The eyeshadows, I'm not 100% sure of. So I'm not sure about this collection, to be honest. I'll throw it in my virtual window shopping cart for now. But I want to see better pictures, which I'm sure I'll have by the time this video airs. So that's all I have for virtual window shopping. Let's jump into some BoxyCharm spoilers. We do know for a fact for February, we are getting the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And we know for a fact we're going to be getting the Touch and Soul No Problem face primer. That's all we know as of right now. For BoxyCharm spoilers, we actually don't have anything confirmed. We have a few speculation spoilers. We have a speculation that a green tea face scrub might be in a box. We also have a speculation that something from Tarte might be in a box, but we don't have anything concrete that they're saying for sure we're going to be getting in BoxyCharm for February. I'm going to throw, if anything appears before this video airs, I'll throw it up here on the screen. Also the same for March's Box. Boxy looks. We, we know for a fact we're getting those Morphe palettes. We know for a fact we're getting the It Cosmetics cream, but we don't have a third confirmed sneak peek. If by the time the video airs, if I know a March sneak peek, I will also throw it up here. But as of right now, I don't really know anything else. So yeah, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I wish I had some more sneak peeks for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Lexi is awake and she's right here. So I got to go put her back to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me your comments below. It does help the channel. Give me those likes and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yay!